The story of the one and only Ivan uh, was inspired by a true story about a real gorilla that ended up for almost 27 years in a shopping mall in, of all places, Tacoma, Washington. It was a bizarre story and a really poignant story, and I decided to fictionalize it, and um, it became the one and only Ivan. When I think about Ivan, I think of a sensitive soul in a, a really kind of a gruff exterior. He's, he's a complicated guy who's become very resigned to his fate um, of, of necessity. But as the story unfolds, as he encounters this um, lovely little baby elephant named Ruby, he realizes that he has a job to do, and that is to protect her. And it very much changes um, how Ivan defines himself. I think you very much hear characters when you're writing them. And then when I learned the, the names of the voice cast, I was just blown away. I mean, to a person, their perfection. Um, it, it, just because, first of all, they're amazing. Um, and secondly, because I think they bring that kind of um, uh, subtlety to the character that's, that's just going to make them leap off the screen. What I love about Angelina playing Stella the Elephant is that Stella is a very, she's a graceful persona. She ha she's a sensitive soul and a kind and very, very wise. And um, as, as soon as I heard that Angelina had been cast, I thought that lovely voice will be so perfect to bring Stella's words you know, to the screen. I, as soon as I met Ariana, we, we hugged. It was just, just instantaneous affection. She's so adorable, so energetic, and um, absolutely perfect Julia. And I love that she's an artist. She likes to draw, and I think she will bring that, um, that little piece of herself to the story. I would love it if an audience came away from this movie thinking about the way we treat animals and about the way we treat each other. If they come away just feeling um, a desire to be a little kinder to each other, then that will be a wonderful thing.